All right, welcome back. Today you're going to discover some wealth building strategies and how to retire rich with real estate. So this is the third and the final video of the three-day class, just like I promised you, and I'm excited to share this information with you today. So let's get started. Okay, so in video number three, we're going to talk about how to retire rich with tiny income properties, and we're going to go through some wealth building secrets. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I want you to know and understand, wrap your mind around this, is that we all create our own poverty. Here's what I mean by that. It doesn't matter if you make $25,000 a year or $250,000 a year. We all tend to find a way to make our extra money go to the things we want. If we get a raise, we buy a bigger house or a bigger apartment. If we get a raise and we go from $50,000 to $70,000, we now buy the new car or the bigger house or the newest furniture and TV uh, and the biggest vacation. So it doesn't really matter what you make unless you wrap your mind around how to build wealth, okay? Because if you don't, we all create our own poverty. Now, let's go into the next thing. I have a question for you. Do you personally have a big nest egg set aside for yourself so that you can live a full and abundant life in your retirement years? So if you stop working tomorrow, do you have enough assets and income coming in that it doesn't matter if you never went back to work again, you can live a happy, healthy, financially sound life? Think about it. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, 8 out of 10 people will retire at or below the poverty level. That's right here in America. Is this you? I mean, if it is, this would make your retirement years pretty uncomfortable, wouldn't it? It, it really would. So here's, here's the solution. Tiny little income properties. Here's what I love best about these tiny single family properties is, number one, you can get up to 100% funding on these tiny income properties. There's four strategies that I use that I can share with you in the members area. Number two, someone else can completely pay these things off for you. Number three, they can spit off positive monthly cash flow every single month, uh, which you could use to pay your own house payment, you could use to pay your own car payment, fund your kid's retirement, or simply put back aside for your retire rich bucket. And then finally, they can generate big chunks of cash for your retirement. I'm going to show you what I mean by that in just a little bit. Now, did you know that the largest single purchase that most people ever make is when they buy their own home? I mean, think about it. Almost everyone does it, right? So the largest single lump sum of money that most people ever receive is when they sell that property, when they sell their home. So based on this, wouldn't you like to know how to build wealth with tiny income properties that can help you fund your retirement? I mean, if you've done it once, what if you just bought the house next door or down the street? It's the same process, but if you buy it below the bottom and you use no money down strategies, this can fund your retirement in a big way. So how many tiny income properties would you need to retire rich? I don't know. This is my rich dad. And my rich dad taught me some strategies along the way when I was getting started. And I watched him from a distance. And what he did was he bought these tiny little income properties. He bought them below the bottom and he put people in them that would pay them off for him. And so he could retire rich. He had this all planned out and there's a reason. My rich dad was broke until he was well into his 40s. We're talking broke, living paycheck to paycheck broke. And he knew if he took the right strategies and was tenacious with it, he could meet the freedom that he desired. So that's what he did. I'm going to share more about this story and how my rich dad helped me and how these strategies can help you in just a little bit. Here's the harsh reality. I really want this to sink in. The only person who cares if you retire rich or if you retire broke is you. It's not your boss. It's not your best friend. It's no one in your household other than maybe your kids because if you retire rich, uh, they may have a pretty good inheritance, right? But I want you to open up your minds. No one's going to do this for you. It's up to you to take action. Now let's talk about why real estate is so great. Let's compare it to the stock market. Number one, you can't borrow money from the banks to go buy stocks, okay? Number two, how it works is you buy stocks and bonds if you have liquid cash that you want to invest and hope that the market does good things for you, right? What would your banker say if you went into the bank and you said, hey, listen, you know, you guys have given me the loan for my house. You guys have uh, loaned me the monies for my cars and these small loans that I used over the years. 
Now listen, I've, I've been watching the stock market and I got this new IPO that's about to happen and I've been following it and I think it's going to do really good. So I was just wondering if you would give me, say, $100,000, if I could borrow that and buy this stock and just kind of see what would happen. You know, we'll take a gamble. Is that is that sound fair? I mean, your, your banker, your hometown family-friendly banker is going to probably escort you out of the door and say, thanks for your business, okay? It's not going to happen. Now, let's talk about income properties. You can borrow up to 100% plus the fix-up costs. There's strategies to use that I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? Real estate prices rise with inflation. So if you buy below the bottom today and your profit is already built in, no matter what happens, if the market goes up or stays the same, uh, you're good. If the market goes up with inflation, it is a built-in balloon on the properties that you own or control that as the inflation goes up, your property values go up. Number three, you can control valuable real estate with nothing down strategies. I love that so much. If you guys have never read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, I'd strongly recommend go down to your bookstore and get it. This will really open your mind. It's life-changing. It really uh, showed me some things uh, going forward. What he teaches uh, people in the book, the difference between what the rich teach their kids about money that the poor and middle class never know about. Robert talks in the book how his dad was a school teacher. He was a principal, and he his strategy was to work, get a good job, and hope that at the end of his retirement and his tenure that he'd get retire with the golden glove, he'd get an attaboy, and he'd be taken care of from his pension. Now, Robert's best friend came from money. So as he hung around his best friend's house, he got to know his best friend's dad. And his dad would teach him secrets about money, about investments, about real estate that Robert never learned in his own home. And thus, this become his best friend's dad became his rich dad. So Robert learned the basic get-by strategies from his real dad and wealth strategies from his rich dad. So before this book even came out, this same exact thing happened to me and I didn't even know it. So I want you to meet my rich dad. As I told you before, this is my rich dad here and he has been able to create the freedom that most people only dream about buying tiny little income properties and doing it the right way. So as I told you at the beginning, we all create our own poverty. So he started making money in his mid-40s, and he had the chance to uh, buy brand new Jaguars or Mercedes Benz and the biggest houses you could imagine. Instead, he decided to use good strategies to buy real estate under value so that when he got to the fourth quarter of his life, he could retire rich and live the way he always dreamed about. In fact, he earns over $100,000 a year in passive income from just a handful of tiny income properties. And these are the strategies. He took me under his wing and he showed me how to do these principles many, many years ago. So one day I took action. I listened to him for years, rode around in his truck with him for years. He'd take me to his properties. He'd show me how to buy these things and we'd evaluate properties one at a time. So I absorbed this information for years and then one day I took action. And I started flipping houses for big cash profits. What I was doing was wholesaling houses. So I was using two no money down strategies that you learned in video one to wholesale houses for big cash profits. But before long, what happened was I had investors all over town knowing that I knew how to find great deals and that I would wholesale them below market value. So I'd get phone calls all the time. Hey Brock, listen, it's me. Uh, call me when you get your next house that you wanna wholesale out. I want your next deal, okay? I can close fast. Give me an opportunity to buy the first property you wanna wholesale out. So I was making a full-time income on a very part-time basis. And for a while, I was extremely happy with that. It was a just a big change for my life. And then one day, I realized how much money I was walking away from by just wholesaling these properties out, okay? Most of the time, I'd leave twenty-five to $40,000, sometimes more in equity on the table when I'd flip these properties quickly to another cash buyer. Now, I was giving away an absolute fortune that could create generational wealth for my family. So this changed everything for me. All of a sudden, everything that my rich dad taught me kicked into full speed. So I decided to reevaluate my strategy and put the new strategy in, in gear. I told myself and I realized based on all the information my rich dad told me over the years and I just kind of filtered it and put it aside. But now I put pulled it all back together and I realized that you can't just wholesale houses 
for quick cash and get rich for the rest of your life, you've got to add additional strategies. So the first strategy was to add in to fix and flip houses for profit. Most of the time, in most situations, there's a just a lot more profit to be made if you do it right. And the other thing you've got to consider, now you're not getting any younger, right? So I had to consider the third strategy was to retire rich with tiny income properties. So now when I looked at a house going forward, I wasn't just going to look at it to wholesale it out for quick cash. I was going to consider, will it work in the fix and flip model or does it make sense to put in the retire rich real estate bucket? So some of you may be looking at this and thinking, hey, I want to generate chunks of cash right now. I, I have a burning desire. I need cash for some bills and for stuff right now. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, let me show you a strategy. Sometimes when you're looking for tiny income properties to throw in your retire rich real estate bucket, you're gonna come across properties like this. This was an up down duplex and it was it was in an area of town that was just outside of the area that really was interested to me. It took a little longer to get there. It was kind of in a weird little pocket and, and I just couldn't see myself saying, hey, I'd be really excited to get this property, to show it to tenants, to go over and just have it in the bucket. It just didn't feel good to me, this one. So I decided no need to pass on the deal. Let's make a profit on it. So what I did is I met the seller there and we talked about it and um, we did a couple things. I bought this property using no money down strategies that I'm gonna share with you uh, in the members area, okay? And uh, s several things happen. You look at this and you think, oh man, I've, uh, if I wanna make money, I've gotta fix it up and flip it. Well, not if you buy it below the bottom. So what happened was I made this gentleman an offer uh, and told him what I'd be willing to pay for the property to sit in its as-is condition. Now my offer was an offer that was based on the formula you learn in the members area and it was below the bottom. Now this property had, had got cash flow off of this for years. It was a great income property for him and he just decided he was to a spot in his life he just wasn't gonna deal with property anymore. So he wanted to sell it as is and that's exactly what he did. He took my offer and he was excited to accept my offer that worked for me and it worked for him. Now, when you look at this property right here, you'll think, oh man, I bet the inside needs some work. Yeah, it did. I bet the outside needs some work, maybe a little bit. Um, so, oh man, I gotta fix up this property. No, I want you to open your mind. The only thing I did to this property right here was you see these two little bushes on the left. I trimmed the bushes back and the yard got mowed twice. Now, it only took 40 days and I sold this property for a profit of 33000 $475.96, all for cutting back the bushes and mowing the yard twice. Now remember, that's not why. The reason is because I bought the property below the bottom. Now, let me disclaim here. I'm not, results aren't typical and I'm not making any income claims, but I want you to expand your mind as you look at properties. If it's, you're looking at it for your retire rich uh, income model, perfect, look at it. If it doesn't fit, go to the other two options of fix and flip and wholesaling. Now remember, when you look at a fix and flip, you literally can sometimes do just like this, very tiny little tweaks, like trimming those bushes back and mowing the yard and generate a fair profit, okay? So you need to analyze each strategy to know which one will bring you the best profit. Now here's a copy of the HUD settlement sheet from closing. It shows that uh, on line 603 that the amount going to the seller, which was me in this case, is $33,475.96. Now, sometimes you'll also come across tiny properties that uh, aren't single family homes, but they're small and manageable enough, and you can run the same formulas through them. So here's the property. It's a, it's a two bedroom uh, duplex, two bedrooms on each side. It's brick, really low maintenance. Uh, the seller was going through a pickle in their life and they owned a ton of property and they decided they didn't want to be married anymore. So this seller called me and told me she wanted $88,000 for this property. So what I did is I went out, took a look at it, met with her, stomped around the property. What I wanted to do next was make an offer. So I listened to what she told me about her situation. Okay, now they had money uh, they, and they decided, like I say, they just didn't want to be married anymore. She told me that she owed very, very little on this property and it was just becoming a nuisance for her in her situation. She just wanted to get out of it. So after looking at this property and applying the buying formula, I made an offer to buy this property for $43,000 $500. Now, if you look at the numbers here, that's half of what she was saying she wanted. However, you can't buy property based on what someone wants. You buy properties off a of formula that you know that your profit is built in on day one, okay? You can't get emotionally involved. You can have empathy, but you can't get emotionally involved when buying property because you'll pay too much. So um, this is how it worked out. The seller said, yes, 
So would she have liked more? Yeah. Did she try other strategies to sell it? She said she did, but she just wanted the peace of mind to knowing this property was out of her hair and she didn't have to deal with this anymore. She was going through her situation. Now let's look at this. Here's what I learned and what you should look at when evaluating income property. Number one, the monthly rent for this property when both units are filled is a thousand bucks a month. So after the monthly payment and the expenses on the property, this would leave somewhere of about $500 a month in cash flow. Now remember, when we talk about cash flow, what can you do with that? You could pay your car payment. You could uh, pay your house payment towards your house payment. You could set it aside towards a nice, nice uh, vacation. Or if you chose, you throw it right back in to your retire rich income account for a better tomorrow. Okay, it's up to you. Now the estimated value of the property at the time was about 80,000 bucks. So the day that I bought this property, it increased my net worth by $36,500. Now results aren't typical and I'm not making income claims here, but I wanna show you how this played out when I made the offer to this seller. Now the other thing that I want you to look at is it was a 100% no money down deal. You might be saying, Brock, how did it work out? Well, listen, this property has worked out just with one of my exact favorite strategies, and that was to use a private money lender. Now, there was a private individual who had money sitting in an account they weren't making much money on. We came to an agreement on what I'd pay them for a monthly interest, and they agreed and funded the whole deal to buy this property. So again, it was a 100% no money down deal. Your credit doesn't get checked. They don't ask for, a seller doesn't ask for a bank letter. You just come in, you get your private money lender, and you tell them about the property, and if you're buying below the bottom, you're most likely in a position to get the deal funded. So here's the best thing about using private money lenders. Like I said, um, they don't give you scrutiny like a bank's. If you're buying below the bottom, you'll pique their interest and they'll want to talk more about you. The other great thing is you're not getting your credit checked and you're not sitting and begging anyone for money. Okay, that's just not how it works. It's, it was a 100% no money down deal, no credit, no down payment needed, anything. Okay, so that's how this deal worked out as a no money down strategy on this tiny little duplex for an income property. So now I want to talk to you about how good intentions can make you broke. Okay, as I shared with you before, my family was very blue collar. And here's the rules of the house when we were growing up. Number one, get a job. Number two, work all your life. And number three, hopefully, you get a pension when your working years are all done. So if you see the pattern here, you're hoping that someone else will take care of you or if your pension, whether it's through a company, hopefully the company's still around. If it's through a state, hopefully your state isn't bankrupt like some of them are close to today. But you're, you're totally basing your fourth quarter of your life on someone else. Okay, so... Um, that's how it was growing up in my home. Building wealth was not part of our vocabulary. It's not something I learned. So let me tell you a story. The year was 1987 and um, my dad's brothers all showed up to our house. Now what was strange is they never came over. Uh, it's very rare. So they're all huddled around the kitchen table looking over a game plan like they're getting ready to make a, a football call or a basketball uh, strategy or that kind of thing. We never saw that before. It wasn't normal in our house. So I asked them what they were doing, and they said, hey, there's a house down the street, uh, and we're thinking about buying it as an investment property. And I went, I wonder what in the world investment is, okay? It just wasn't, it wasn't vocabulary in our home. So it was something new. So what they did is they looked at this property right here. This was actually a foreclosure property. My dad and his brothers went down the street to this property right here, and they stomped around it. They looked at... Um, the, in the windows, they looked on the foundation, they looked in the grass, they looked on the roof, you know, and what they did is they found every reason to scare themselves away and decide not to buy this property. They were going to offer $33,000 for this tiny property right here, okay? But they found every reason why not to. Number one, they didn't know anyone who'd ever done it, so they didn't have anyone to guide them through it, and um, they just got nervous and scared. Fear, boy, fear can be your worst enemy uh, when you're trying to better yourself, okay? So they were going to offer $33,000 for this property. Since then, this property has now tripled in value to more than $90,000. Now, if my dad would have bought this tiny income property, he could have borrowed most of the money from the bank, okay? Someone else would have paid the house off for him. He could have had a positive monthly cash flow, and he could have sold it for a big lump sum for his retirement. Now, $90,000 in cash 
would dramatically change my dad's life today. Would it make him rich? No. Maybe one or two of these or maybe three of these would really put him in a great financial position, but he allowed fear to step in. Okay? So ask yourself, what's getting in your way? Now, if you want to increase your net worth for a bigger retirement, here's two things you've got to consider and learn how to do. Number one, You've got to discover the secrets of how to buy below the bottom so that you your profit is already built into your offer. So the day that you buy it, it's already built in. So you're not relying on any uh, market conditions or anything to happen for you to profit. It's already built in to your offer price. Okay. Number two, you've got to take advantage of the no money down strategies. I share four no money down strategies that I use uh, for fix and flips and retire rich real estate uh, properties that I'm using in today's market very, very effectively. Now, for a limited time, you can become a member of Flipping Houses Live. Now, this will give you access to my advanced video training courses, as well as the opportunity for live coaching to help you get started. Now, the first video training course you'll have access to right now when you become a member is Wholesaling Houses for Quick Cash. Now, this includes four advanced video training quadrants. It includes the bonus marketing material that I use to get motivated sellers to call me directly. It includes my contracts, assignments, and forms that I use to profit in real estate today. And this course normally sells all by itself for $497. And by becoming a member today, you also get instant access to my brand new course called Retire Rich with Real Estate. Now, this advanced training course is completely built around flipping houses and acquiring income properties using no money down strategies. It includes 11 powerful video training modules, including the top four no money down strategies. So this is a limited time opportunity to join Flipping Houses Live right now, get instant access to both advanced video training courses, and do it right now before this offer is pulled and removed from the public. Join right now.